Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a pen that is very famous right now and I think people are really interested in this because we, ha we are having now the, the first reviews and first impressions about this pen. So, if you like the content that I usually do, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's see the pen. So, the pen is the Platinum Curidas. It's a new pen from Platinum. It was released, it was announced some months ago, and it was released recently. It would have been released a little bit late, uh, sooner, maybe in March, at least in Europe, but it got several delays and only in April it was available on stores. I bought this one for me. I bought it from Fontana Pena. So if you want to buy one like this, you can check the link on the description. And the price of this pen was 70 euros. So let's take a look of it. First, the box. The, the pen comes in a box that comes inside a, um, this kind of a sleeve. A black cardboard sleeve. Here there is just such, just a label with the reference and here you see Platinum Japan 1919 and Kuridas, the name of the pen, and you have a photo of the pen that, at least in my head, it gives me the, the idea of a x-ray print. I think the box is really nice or at least the sleeve. Then you take the sleeve out and you have the box. It's a black plastic box. Very simple. It says Platinum Japan 1919. Nothing in it. You open the box. Also plat Platinum Japan 1919 and you have the pen here. I think it came inside a plastic sleeve, I don't remember perfectly, but I think so. And let's just check first the other stuff. When you take the, the pen bed out, you will have... Yes, it came inside this plastic sleeve, I forgot about it. You have the, the Platinum Corridas instructions with the instructions on how to, to fill the pen and to remove the clip and so on. I already made a movie, uh, movie uh, a video about how to remove the clip of this pen, to, not to waste too much time on the review doing that. Maybe people who are looking for that are looking just for that so they can check the other video without spending their time in the full review. It comes with a blue uh, platinum ink cartridge with a little tool for removing the clip. Check the other video to see how to do it. And this is the label that comes in the in the clip. So this is all. And now let's take the pen out of the tray and put it somewhere the, the box put the box away. And let's take a look at the pen this way. So, this color, uh, let's see if it shows well on camera because of the lights. Uh, it's hard to... I'm still struggling to get the, bet, the best light possible here on my setup. The color of this pen is called Smoke Graphite. All the Platinum Curidas pens are transparent. There is one clear transparent, but there are blue, red and some other colors. Transparent, although with or without some color to it. This pen has a plastic construction. This is all made of plastic, these external parts. The only external part which is not made of plastic is the clip, which is metal, quite springy, very nice indeed, but and that goes into the video about the clip removal. Here on the pen, the printings you can see is Kuridas there. 
very simple. Just that. You have a very long button. Um, the pen has the interesting characteristic of having a retractable nib. So it's always nice to have another retractable nib and this was one of the I think the, the most exciting things about this pen was the retractable nib. Uh, yes, retractable nib and also the removable clip. So this pen is 151 millimeters long closed, 139 millimeters long when the uh, the nib is open. And you will see that when you do that, the clip will the the clip will travel a long way inside the pen because it's really a long way into that. And it is mostly cylindrical and it has this little thing there. Okay, how does this work? First I will show how it works and then I will make some comparisons. So, uh, let's see. The pen, imagine the pen is a ballpoint pen, like the, the same kind of construction. When you click on the bottom of the, the pen, on the button, you press the button and the clip gets out, the nib, sorry, gets out on the other end. When you do the opposite, the clip, the nib goes inside. Now, what do you need? You have an opening there, you need to have a, a shutter to close that. And the shutter is that grey plastic piece. I will press the button a little and you see it opens and the clip, sorry, the nib, I keep saying clip, comes out like this. And then you press it again, the nib retracts and the gate or the shutter slowly closes. So this is how it works. However, for these to work, it has that down part. Let's see it in this angle. When you press the clip, it goes down into, let's call it this little socket there. In other angle, you see it goes there. So, you need to have this structure to protect it. This is something that I will talk about just in a bit. So, this is basically how it works. It works this way as some other pens already do. And I have two examples of those. One is, the, I think, is the better known one. This is the Pilot Coupless or cap, uh, Pilot Vanishing Point, depending if you are in Europe or in the United States. And this is a Chinese Dagong 56, which has a dragon there engraved. And it is like a cheap and not so good alternative, but it is also a capless pen or retractable nib pen. Let's take the Dagong away and let's focus on these pens. The, this pen is, is a pen that is being around for a long time. This is the, the Pilot Capless. This is the green carbonesque or green kazuri finish. It works fine, the same way the, the platinum. The thing about this is that many people don't get used to write with this. The, the clip between their fingers. When you have a normal pen, a regular pen, this is a platinum preppy, you have to transport, to carry it, upward, so it makes sense the clip to be on the cap for the pen to be with the nib facing the nib facing up. Simple. With this kind of pens, to have the nib facing up, you need to have the clip on the section. That's the only way you can hold the pen. 
in this pen there are lots of complaints about people saying this gets in the way and it's not that easy to write with. I have no problem at all. It, it seems fine to me for my kind of grip to, to hold the Pilot Couplers. But for many people this is a problem and I think Platinum was very clever in finding a way, a simple way of with that little tool to remove the clip and then you have a clipless pen and it is easier to use, yes. However, there are some, there are two little details. The first detail is when you remove this, oops, when you remove the clip you have two little plastic protrusions there that clip that keep the clip in place so it is not a smooth surface even if you remove that but if you hold the pen here they will not get into the way of your writing but there is also another protrusion there to hold this part of the clip you see a plastic thing there but you, if you have this plastic thing, you will have something between your fingers also. Not as big as the clip, but you have something. So I don't think this fully works out the problem that may, people may, might find with the, the pilot. Another detail is this little thing. You have it for the door to close or to open when you have the pen ready to write but this will stick out and if you hold the pen as I do it's very probable that this will uh, hurt your finger there it's not comfortable to write with it I didn't find yet the best way of holding this pen so I don't know if this was a missed opportunity I would say in that sense, maybe it was, because they removed the clip, which is a great idea. You can, it is an, opti an optional thing, I think it was very clever, but then you still have some plastic stuff there that it's not that comfortable. Now, I showed you all these, this is the outside the pen, how the pen works, and my opinion about this. Now, let's see how it is the, the, the pen inside. So, to open it to load the cartridge or to put the converter, you just unscrew the, the, the pen, this part, and then you have here, let me see if I can show you with all this shining, you have the, the mechanism here. So, to remove the cartridge part, which is this one, you need to press this down and that little white thing or grey thing goes there, you turn it and you release it and this is a good thing. Now you have the writing unit in your hands and now to remove that part you also do this and pull it out. Let's call it like the, the cartridge protector, because if you would press the cartridge directly, you could eventually break it or crack the opening. It, it would not be a good thing, so it's better to, to have a, a protection, which is this one. So what you find here is a plastic part that has a steel nib this one is a fine nib with the Platinum logo there. Something that I want to show is that the nib is, looks similar to the Platinum, for example, this one, the, the Preppy, but it is different because it has a breather hole and it is slimmer, so you cannot exchange nibs between the two pens. The pen takes cartridge, the proprietary platinum cartridges or the platinum converters. You see, you have this little piece that goes inside and it's done. Now, you just need to put it back to make it work. You put these and theoretically you have to put these into this little socket. It will go in and... But if you miss the groove and you do it like this, 
it goes inside also. You saw? Like this. And I think this is something that shouldn't happen. I think this will wear out the plastic piece and also a plastic piece rubbing against a metal piece every time, a, a, a metal part, every time you need to exchange ink. I don't know if this was the best idea. However, I don't find it a cool thing to have a specific place to go in, but it goes in anyway, and you don't need to force it a lot. I don't think this is very well done. Also, you put this inside the pen, and so you'll need to put it there inside that that opening and go to the bottom. But again, if you miss it, let me show. If you miss it, like if you go this way, you did exactly the same thing as with the other part. You should do like this, but if you miss that part and you just press it, it will go in. So I don't think this is well built. I would expect a little more, I have to be honest, I would expect a little more for a Japanese pen or from a Japanese pen. However, we have to say that this pen is not expensive, it's 70 euros and it is nice to have an alternative of a, a click pen. Some people say, why do you want to have a capless pen if it doesn't destroy the idea of using a fountain pen? No, for me it doesn't. It gives you the same kind of writing sensation, but it is much easier to use it to deploy the pen, to not being worried with the cap, or to unscrew a cap, or to post the cap, or to keep it in your hand, or not to lose it, whatever. It is a very nice, nice way to jot some ideas on paper. I think this kind of design is really useful. I would not like to have most of my pens with this kind of design, but this mechanism is very good to have a couple of them when you go on a trip or in a business meeting, sometimes it's interesting. It doesn't impress as much because people think it is just a ballpoint, but it's really nice for taking your notes while keep you keeping using a fountain pen. About the size, we have here the Platinum Preppy. This is much longer. The Pilot Coupless, which is much longer, I, I meant the, the Curidas. A Parker Centennial Do Fold and a Lamy Safari. And you see the Curidas is longer than every other. Now, if you uncap all the pens, and uncapping this one means just clicking the button and this one the same, you will see that in the size comparison, the Curidas still wins to all of them, but it gets very close, just maybe two millimeters off, two millimeters longer than the pilot. Interesting. So this is a full size pen, nice size, nice balance, I would say. I don't like that little plastic part, but it, is, it has a very nice balance. It is easy, easy to use and you don't need to worry if you will post the pen or not. So now let's go for the writing sample. So here we are with our paper and pen and let's start. I think I don't remember if I said it, but this pen is not as light as you may think. It is made of plastic, but it has some metal parts inside and it weighs 26 grams. So I would say it is quite a good uh, weight for this pen. And now let's write with it. So this is the it's keep there, but I've been using it to show it to you and capping and so it is normal that it would skip, I think. This is the Platinum Curidas and the color is Smoke 
Graphite. The nib is a F steel nib. The paper that we are using is the usual Rhodia dot pad. And the ink inside is the Parker Quink Black. So, my first thoughts about this pen. I don't know if you could hear it. This is a pen that is very, very feedbacky. Not yet scratchy, but I would say it has too much feedback for the way I like my pens. And I like pens with feedback. I will put the micro microphone down just for you to hear better the noise. I hope you could hear it. It makes lots of noise. It is too feedbacky to have a pleasant writing experience. Another thing that I found is that the nib is maybe too dry and it didn't work at all well with the platinum black ink. So I had to empty the cartridge and I put the Parker Quink black inside and now it works better. But you see it is wet enough but the feel you have is that it is a little bit dry so it is not that pleasant. I have to say that I was expecting a better writing experience than this. About line variation, mm, no, I don't think you can expect any and because it is too feedbacky it doesn't feel right at all to force it any more onto the paper. About the reverse writing, easy to reverse writing it, it writes well. The most amazing thing is that this is like an extra fine, this is like a fine and this way on the reverse side it is much less feedbacky, it's much smoother and this is something that I, it's for me it's quite hard to understand. So, this is a pen that will allow you to write a lot. You may like it or not. This is the kind of pen that not everyone likes it because if it is a retractable nib. But what I find is that it could be smoother. If it was meant to be a competitor with a lower price for the Pilot Capless, I think they missed an opportunity because they have the removable clip but then they have other plastic parts. I, I don't know if this makes lots of sense. So, how, what can I say? I'm not disappointed in a sense that I really wanted to have this pen and to try it and to review it. I think it was really an interesting thing to do, but I would expect better. So I have to thank you all for watching this video. I think this pen will be very controversial and I really want to see many more reviews on these online from some other uh, known pen reviewers because I want to to see their opinion, if they think the same as I do, I can say I am not in love with this pen. But it is not a bad pen and maybe I don't like to do it and I think every pen should have its own character so sometimes they are meant to be a little bit more feedback and I like pens with feedback but I think you'll get a better writing experience if you give some adjustment to the nib. Maybe if you make the flow a little bit wetter and if you smooth it a little bit. It makes no sense. It's not that pleasant to use like this. So, I will ask 
What are your thoughts about this pen? What do you think about it? Are, did you try it yet? And if you did, what do you think about it? Um, please let me know in the comments below. And I will be very interested to, to, to read those comments. This is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please don't forget to like and to subscribe the channel. And I will see you soon. Bye.